Welcome everyone to Hard Reset, the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 5. We must connect the phone to either another Android phone, a iPhone or iPad, or a Windows or Mac computer. If you connect the Z Fold 5 to just a regular charger, this will not work. If you don't connect the phone at all, this will not work. So let's enter the uh, recovery mode. That's what we need to do. Get your phone ready. I'm about to press power and volume down. So I'm going to press these two keys down and I'm going to start in three, two, one. Press no power and volume down. Keep these held down. Do not release. I'm going to now count to 10. At 10, we release. So seven, eight, nine, 10. Release power and volume down. Now press and hold power and volume up and we're just going to keep holding down power and volume up keep these held down do not release until we see the samsung logo when we see the samsung logo we can release from the button so i see the samsung logo i'm going to release from pressing the power and volume up and if we give this a couple of seconds here we are now in the recovery mode and you can't tap on this uh, touch screen here instead you need to use, I'm going to open the screen, you need to use the volume rockers to navigate down and up. Okay. And then if you want to select something, you click and release the power button to select. In this case, we need to factory reset the phone. So we're just going to click and release the volume down button. I was going to keep on clicking until we see the wipe data slash factory reset. And then we're going to select by clicking the power button. We will then click and release volume down. And then we're going to click and release the power button to factory reset. I'm not going to do this personally, but once you click this one, it will bring you back to the home page of recovery. Give it five seconds and then uh, select reboot system now and your phone will factory reset. If you have an old Google or Samsung account, you will need to enter those ones in, so keep that one in mind. But after the factory reset, you can set your own screen lock, and uh, there won't be that old screen lock back. With that being said, if you would like to help support the channel, please do check the description. Bye-bye.